Brandon, you want to join? Or you want to... Yeah. yeah. Come on up. Go ahead. Either of you three can answer this, but just uh, what do you mean you feel is the difference at the start of the second half? She seemed like uh, came out playing a little better than, than the first half. Well, what was maybe kind of uh, led a little bit of a disjoint in the first half? Uh, we thought we played pretty decent um, in the first half, but uh, we really wanted to second, set the tone in the second half and uh, let that be one of our better wars of the game. And, you know, that was just our mindset coming out of halftime. I think we did a pretty good job at you know, executing what we wanted to do. <coughs> no, you said you didn't. You know, I feel like you needed to take over against McKendry because you know, your teammates were, were doing plenty of scoring. You scored five straight to start the second half. Did you feel like you, know, you could? Maybe come out strong there and get things going. Uh, yeah, you know, especially because you know I wanted to make sure we got into a strong second half start. You know I mean, I guess you know Scott, and when you scout us, we have so many great players, especially when you see from last game. I mean, that, that, that makes things easier for me. So I, mean, I always want to. I'm always in aggressive attack mode, but I think this was one of those games where I think I need to start off strong in the second half. Malcolm, when you when you've got uh, Jalen and Tracy on the floor at the same time. What does that do for you defensively? Can you talk about the two of them when they're when they're playing at the same time defensively? I think you know they're such really good defenders that I don't really have to worry about them getting beat off the dribble or leaving their assignment messing up and stuff like that. You know that that kind of helps me focus on the man I have because you know, they can keep the ball in front. And I think you know, I think uh, we've all got pretty good one on one defense, so we. Take care of our coverage. I think our fours and fives got to be a little bit too much this game, but you know, with them two especially, you know, it makes things easier for me personally. Tracy, can you talk about Jalen Tate's offensive explosion tonight? Uh, where did that come from? I think he did a great job at just reading the defense, knowing when to attack, knowing when to pass, uh, just being aggressive. You know? If you can play like that, just do that. Um, that's his role, I would say. So he did a great job at you know just playing his role. Uh, I'd say this for any of you guys. What did you think of? Uh, it seemed like DJ Williams had a lot of energy uh, tonight. What did you think of his sort of, you know, a stat sheet aside? What did you think of his contributions? Um, <clears throat> we're always on him about his energy level. He's a really good player, really talented. Um, but you know, when he brings that aggressiveness and that energy, then that makes him even better, and that makes our team even better. And I think he did a good job of that tonight. And um, we had a lot of contributions from the bench tonight. Tracy. Um, um, oh. So, uh, yeah, just you know, playing against DJ every day for the past year and a half. I mean, I just it's my job, you know, make sure he gets better because you know we play the same position. You know, I want to make it so hard on him in practice that when he gets to the game, it's a lot easier. And I think you know he feels that way when he's out there. Tracy, you're 90 for 11 from three so far this year. Just how much has your confidence grown as a shooter, and what's what's been different in the early going for you? Uh, I would just say the work that I put in while I've been hurt, uh, most importantly, uh, I put a lot of time and effort into, you know, making my shot better. You know, I'm just glad to see it's translating into the court. Uh, show you hard work pays off. I got a question. When you guys see former line that come back to watch you, you know, Trent Meacham, Brandon Paul, um, yeah. does that give you any added motivation? Mm -hmm. well. It's great for me to see you guys back, especially you, BP, uh, a former teammate. Um, so I love to see everybody come back and support the team. I think we need to keep keep that going and keep getting guys back, show that live man love and our family, and we all together. Yeah, it'd be great if you if you came back, you could play some hoops <laughs> too. Nice and not sitting watching the sideline. <laughs> I think that year, six years. <laughs> Jalen, you seem to be playing with a lot of confidence uh, tonight, especially so far this season. What do you uh, attribute that to? Um, just all the hard work that I put in in the offseason. Um, you know, I've been also I've been putting in a lot of work with Tracy too. You know, uh, that's why you know you can see we playing so well together. And um, you know, me being the older guy, I know what the coaches expect from me. My teammates got a lot of confidence in me. I'm just going out there and playing, playing the game. Thank you.